1952 Outlaw 003s. How I got them over here in Australia from California. How do they fit? The offset, what's my car? What are my brakes? How do they fit? What tires have you got? All that stuff will be answered now. Sometimes you get up, you put in the effort and it's, it just doesn't work. The beach will be pretty. There's some pink over there and everything on this side is grey. <laughs> See that guy? He's like... The 1552 Outlaw 003s. These are two piece forged wheels, 15 by 7s front with an ET of 23, and on the rear, 15 by 8s, and the ET is 10. They're a matte gold with a brushed snout for that racy look. This 911 is a 1973 model. Now it's not supposed to have these guards, it's not a true RS, but it has had these guards put on. So it's what you'd call an RS clone, very similar to Magnus Walker's 277 car. So what I did, I liked the rims, 1552 made them. Magnus has designed that line, collaborated with Brad and Matt. What I did was I looked at his car and took guidance on the fitment. Matt and Brad and Magnus obviously are Porsche guys, so the offset for these liner wheels are staggered Porsche. Porsche offset as standard. You don't have to give them the Porsche offset. The standard wheel is already set at, at Porsche offset, which is ET23 and ET10 for the rears. The boys at 1552 came back to me with a whole bunch of questions on fitment. Are the brakes factory? My brakes are S brakes, near enough factory sizing. They didn't change in diameter. I went down to my guys that work on the car and, and asked them, you know, are my brakes factory? And they went, um, I think so. So I took that as a yes. A definite yes and went back to 1552 with this i knew that they would fit and then it was just what rubber do we put on the thing a friend of mine down here who's a porsche guy uh, who's built a few cars he built an sc which is pretty much the same offset and he had 15s with these big bally tires on them and he kept saying how awesome the car was to drive and everyone else is like man you gotta go performance you gotta go ass back how i'm gonna set up this car is i'm going to you know have a two-stage setup so i've got a track setup Keep the 16s through a set of brand new Yokohama Air 50s on that for the track. And when I'm cruising on the street, because the suspension is so hard, it's 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 mental on this car that we wanted to set up, have a street setup that was soft. So rather than softening the suspension, we could soften the tire wall and get a bit of play in the in the tire wall with the smaller diameter wheel. So for tires, I chose a slightly bigger than normal. So we're going up in rolling diameter from the AO 50s on the 16s, which were so a 5205 and a 45225 on the rear. I know a guy at a tire shop and uh, rather than searching around, I just went down there. I knew he could sort me out. He owed me some money because I do some work for him. And I said, let's swap some tires. What do you got? He said, I can do Toyo proxies. They won't be the same tread pattern. And I said, that's fine. I don't care. He said, I want huge, big, fat tires on this thing. And we had the option of running the same rolling diameter as the 16s and the, and the Yokohamas. But I decided to go up just for laughs. So we went to a 65, 195 on the front, 15, a 225, 60 on the back. As I said, they're Toyo proxies. 
So look, they're not they're not our spec. They're just a standard road tire. But the car's so light for normal driving on the street. They're just a decent road tire. I've pushed them and you can see where the limit. The limit is a lot closer than the Air 50s. The Air 50s are an amazing car, you know, but they've the, the traction of the AO50 compared to that is just not even comparable. To get to the limit of the AO50s on the street, you need to be doing some serious, some serious driving. They're kind of wasted. Driving around on AO50s on the street uh, puts a lot of tension and wear. <laughs> On my car with the 16s and the AO 50s, you can't push the car when it's stationary. You can't push the car, the car doesn't move. Obviously the wheels are turned in, the, the, it's, it's set up for the track. But with these Toyota Proxies on, the car is light, you can push the car, it's not stuck to the ground. So you can imagine the stress and the strain, the extra strain on all the mechanical parts of the drivetrain from the tires being so grippy. So that eventually wears out, wears things out a lot faster like your bearings and your know, things in turn. It's not the end of the world, but that's the truth. I had the wheels fitted to the tires off the car and then brought them to the workshop and then put them on. To be honest, I could not believe they fit without scrubbing. They're so tight. It's such a beautiful fit, but they just look like they're so tight, but they're, they don't touch at all. Like hand on heart, they do not scrub at all, which is amazing. We're bringing the meat, big uh, balloony tires on the thing. And it looks great. How good does it drive? Man, it's like you've got the PASM switch and the new 911s and you've hit it from Sport Plus back to Sport. I wouldn't say it's in comfort <laughs> by any means, but it's come back from Sport Plus to Sport and it's a bit more manageable. And uh, look, it's still fun on the street. I've pushed it around some, some fast corners and stuff. It's fine. I haven't had it let go or do anything strange. So, you know, for most driving, it's cool. And if it rains, you're fine. It's no troubles. These tires were cheap. For the price of one and a half aspects, I got a full set of the proxies. You can talk to the guys at 1552 if, you, if you're worried about fitment or if you've got a special car that needs um, a certain offset. I found them to be really good. The buying process was, yeah, no complaints. They came back to me. The packaging, the way the wheels were packaged was really nice, really safe. But this video wasn't paid for by 1552 or Magnus Walker or Proxy or Yokohama. Um, I'm just telling you about what's on my car. If you like these videos, uh, please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.